Hi guys, it's Lara. Thanks for watching and welcome back to my channel. So the other day I was browsing uh, through Pinterest and I have seen how to make denim feathers and of course I had to try it. So today we are going to upcycle some denim pieces and we are going to create this necklace that I'm wearing right now and also this cute choker. So if that's something you're interested in, then please keep watching. For the choker, I used two strips of denim and two feather shapes. One of the feather shapes was cut out when the denim was turned at 90 degrees angle so that one would fray out in white and one in blue. Then I have here plastic snaps for the closure and wooden pearls. The first step was to sew around the edges of the strips with stretchy straight stitch because it's a little bit denser than a regular straight stitch and through the middle of the feathers with a very dense zigzag. Next I started fraying out the feathers. I used small scissors to help me with the process. Whenever I reached a point where the line of the thread that I was pulling out was angled and I couldn't go any further, I simply cut the pulled out thread back and kept it inside of the feather. And this way the feathers had a few streaks of the contrast color in them. If you, however, wanted to avoid that, you would have to make sure that the alignment of the fabric when you're cutting out the uh, feathers is perfectly straight. Once I was done with fraying out both of the feathers and once I have frayed out the edges of the strips, it looked like this. I marked the middle so that I knew where to stitch the feathers on. When I was done with stitching the feathers on, I have sewn on three groups of wooden pearls. One of five in the middle of the choker and two of three pearls on each side of the sin. As a last step, I have sewn on the snaps. And then the choker was finished. For the second necklace, I used a dark blue cord, three feathers, one of the big ones cut out at 90 degrees angle for a contrast color and two wooden pearls. First I pulled the cord through two of the wooden pearls. Then I pinned the ends of the cord to the middles of each of the big feathers. I've sewn them on in a very dense zigzag. Once that was finished, I pulled the pearls downwards towards the feathers and I secured them with a knot. And then I started fraying the feathers out the same way I did with the feathers for the choker. Thank you. 
I have sewn through the middle of the small feather with then zigzag and after I frayed it out too, I have stitched the small feather to one of the big feathers. And that was also the last step and the necklace was done. The necklace can be worn, for example, with the choker, simply tied in the middle and then it would look like this. Or it can be, of course, worn alone, just wrapped around the neck. Another option would be to wrap it around the neck and tie it in the middle and then it would look like this. As always, it all comes back to your personal preference, whatever you like the best. I personally absolutely love the way it came out and I'm just so excited about the idea making feathers of scraps of denim because a it's cruelty free and b you get to use up stuff that would normally land in the landfill because you need only small pieces so i had a lot of fun with this project and i love the way it looks so much that i decided that i want to have also matching earrings i already picked a pair of earrings where the hook was still nice but the bottom of the earrings was not looking good anymore so i will basically replace the bottom with like two small denim feathers and probably with the wooden pearls. Once I made them, I will of course post a photo on my Instagram account. My Instagram account is linked down below. And by the way, I also already started creating um, my first Halloween costume for this year. If I'm lucky, if I'll have enough time, I might even make two. For the first costume, there's only one part missing because I had to order something and it's late. And I'm also going on vacation in a few days. But I think by the end of September it should be finished and then of course there's gonna be more DIY projects. I'm so excited for the fall. I hope you are too. I hope you guys had a wonderful summer and thank you all so much for watching. I love you guys so much and see you soon with my next project. Bye! <music>